Dede TV KPM Hi, hello, hello everyone. How are you doing today? My name is Chris and you are watching Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu and this is where we want to help SPM students score the highest marks they can in their examinations. For today, we will be learning Bahasa Inggris. But before that, I just want to remind all my friends watching at home that the battle against COVID-19 is far from over. So this is a reminder to always practice your SOPs, okay? Number one, wear your face mask properly, frequently use hand sanitizers, and whenever you're in public areas, remember to practice your social distancing of not less than one meter. And last but not least, since things are slowly opening up, constantly update your My Sejahtera app, okay? Now, for today's English class, the topic is very interesting because it has something to do with Bruno Mars. Yeah, you know his song? Cause you're amazing, just the way you are. <laughs> I'm not going to sing the whole song. But if you want to find out more on today's topic, let's first get to know today's teachers. That's right, for today's Success SPM class, we have not one, but two English teachers with us. We have Mr. Hanin from SMK Unku Aziz and Mr. Chua from SBP Integrasi Sabak Bernam. Hi, sirs. How are you doing today? Fine. Yeah? Mr. Yes. Chua, are you good today? Oh, I'm feeling very well. That's, okay. that's amazing. How about you, Chris? I'm doing very good as yes. well. Now, sirs. Yeah. Regarding today's topic, you know, I heard it has something to do with Bruno Mars, like what I mentioned earlier, but maybe you want to share with all our friends watching at home, what are we learning today? You were singing Bruno, Bruno Mars and yes. then you were saying, singing, yeah. you are amazing, yes. just the way you, you are. are. So amazing, amazing is a very good word for us that we are going to focus on, which is adjective. Okay. Which is adjective. Right. And we are going to learn on describing a person. Right, so today's topic is describing a person. Yes, okay. and we are going to learn also about the adjective. Okay, understood. So, we are going to apply mm. adjectives mm. to describe a person in our writing paper today, primarily focusing on the part two component, which is a guided essay. Okay, so we are focusing on English paper two, is that correct, sirs? Yes. yes. Okay, very nice. But before we proceed with today's class, um, a class isn't a class without classmates. Am I right, sirs? Yep. That's right. We do have some friends online with us today. Um, I'll, can we say hi to them? Hi, everyone. Hi. They're, 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 those are my classmates for today. And they're actually from SMK Unku Aziz and SBP Integrasi Sabah so Bernam now, as yes. well. Hi, everyone. I would like to get to know my classmates for today. So, could I get everyone, one by one, to introduce your name and school so I get to know you better? So why don't we start with Fia? Hi, Fia. Hi, Fia. Hi, uh, my name is Siti Safia Bindi Ibrahim, but you can call me Fia. I'm from SBP Aisabat by now, and my ambition is I want to be a minister. Wow, so she wants wow. to be yeah, a minister. minister. Yeah. So. Yep, so that's great. I think that's uh, that's why English is very important as well. Yes. Mm. So next, uh, let's get to know Putra. Hi, Putra. How are you? Hi, my name is Nusrat Putra bin Rizal. You can call me Nusrat. My ambition is to be a surgeon. Okay, okay. nice. Very nice to meet you, Putra. And uh, next, we have Iza. Hi, Iza. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Iza Izwani from SMK Unko Aziz. 
and my ambition is to be a veterinarian. Wow, that is amazing. Yep. You must love animals <laughs> a lot, animals Iza. Love. <laughs> and uh, next, we have Ahmad. Hi, Ahmad. Hi. Uh, my name is Ahmad Zarfan. You can call me Ahmad. And my ambition is to be a dentist. A dentist. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Ahmad. Yes. And last but not least, we have Surin. Hi, Surin. How are you doing today? Hi, my name is Surin Krishnan. You can call me Surin. I'm from SMK Uncle Aziz and my ambition is to be an engineer. Okay, so it's very nice to meet all of you. I'm so excited to learn from our teachers today and also together with my friends. But before we proceed with today's class, let's not forget that we are still in the battle against COVID-19. Yes. So I would like to invite uh, both of you to also apply hand sanitizer. So if you look in the table in front of you, you yeah. do have a special bottle for yourselves <laughs> and I have a special pink one for myself as well. Yeah. So could we both uh, all apply hand sanitizer before sure. we go? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, I will apply mine. Okay. So sirs, before we actually proceed with today's class, how about we take a short break to give our friends online some time to get ready as well. Is that yes. okay? Now for those who are watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for our English lesson, lesson sorry, here on Success SPM 2021. Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM. Welcome back to Success SPM 2021 with me, Chris MJ, and today. We are learning Bahasa Inggris on the topic of describing a person. Now, before we proceed with our class for today, together with Mr. Hanin and Mr. Chua, I would like to also hear some thoughts and opinions from our friends online regarding today's topic. Um, let's ask Putra first. Putra, what do you think of today's topic? All right, um, in my point of view, I think that today's topic, describing a person, um, is really important for us, the SPM candidate, to let us know how to create a great essay that contains a bombastic adjective mm -hmm. and a nice connectors for our English SPM paper. Wow. Thank you so much, Putra. And I do agree with you as well. And next, let's um, go, let's ask Fia. What do you think of today's topic? My opinion about today's topic is it is something that we always do in our life. For example, when you want to tell your friends a story mm. about someone or you want to like spill the tea, you're going to use some adjectives like arrogant, humble, and so on when you want to describe that person. And today's topic is also very important because we're going to, uh, because it's also one of the type of questions that can be asked in Pepe 2 Part 2. Right. Thank you so much, Fia. And I would like to also hear uh, thoughts from Ahmad. Uh, in my opinion, that in my opinion, as the teacher said, that we are we will be learning about describing a person means that we are going to learn two things: adjectives and uh, essay writing. So, in my opinion, I would like to learn both of that to improve in my English and in my uh, exams. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing your thoughts. But before we proceed with today's class, I would like to check with you. Are, are you ready for today's class? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Very nice. The, the students are ready. I'm ready. And Mr. Hanin and Mr. Chua are ready as well. Yep, so, sure. sirs, <laughs> shall we proceed with today's class? Yeah. Sure. Yes. So today, our topic is to describe a person and the materials are all from the Form 4 Full Glass textbook, which is on page 27. Okay. So the students uh, watching this, you can refer to page 27 in your Form 4 Full Glass textbook for the writing material. As we know, um, a lesson is not complete without learning objectives. So by the end of today's lessons, the students should be able to state at least two reasons why they admire a person and they are able to write a short response in about 125 to 150 words about a person they admire. Mm. Okay, so this is the focus of today's lesson, admire. Mm, Chris, what yes. do you understand about the word admire? 
Yes, ah. we want to know. <laughs> Admire. Well, I think it's a very positive word. It's coming from a very positive perspective and it means to who I look up to, who mm. I admire. Is that correct? Yes, yes. you are correct. Okay. Okay, so I'll let Mr. Cho to continue as well. Okay. So maybe we can hear some thoughts from our students yes. on the screen. <laughs> sure. Um, how about Isa? What do you think about the word admire? In my opinion, admire is something that you you like about people and you want to make them as an example. Okay, mm -hmm. so you want to be like the person you admire. Okay. That's all, which is very good, yes? Yeah. <laughs> very good answer, Isa. Very nice. Okay, how about we hear from another person? Uh, how about Suren? What do you think about the word admire? Uh, in my opinion, the word admire is we idolize someone, we take them as our role model, we we'll admire them. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, very good as well. Idolize. Idolize. So that is a good word to describe. Mm. Okay. So basically, the students, they are familiar with the word admire. Usually, we admire a person because he or she has some good qualities mm. that we would like to be like them. Uh, so, so how do they describe the person? That's why they need to use adjective. Adjective. That's what you say. That's <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's have a bit of discussion first. So, let us all think of a person we admire. And what is he or she like? And why do you admire him or her? Hmm, that's Chris. a very good question. Hmm. Yes. Maybe uh, I can try. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. So, sure. Why don't you share your opinion? I admire my father. Okay. My father. Because he is funny. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to make a lot of lame jokes. <laughs> so that's what I admire about him and I wish that I would be able to be as funny as him. Okay. Okay, that's good. So that is a quality that yes. Yep. So your father has a good sense of humor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let us why not we hear from the others? Chris, yes. sure. will you do the honor? Sure. Um, who would like to try next? Maybe you want to share with us who you admire and what you admire about them. Mm. Uh, maybe you could raise your hands if you'd like to go. Okay, if you never raise your hand, I will just... Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Fia, Fia. Fia is excited nice. to give mm. and share the go answers. Ahead, okay, let's listen from Fia. Um, of course, I have someone that I admire the most and that person would be my mother. Because for me, she is so special to me. She was there when I was at my lowest and she always teach me that uh, whenever I stress myself too much about studies, sport or competition, she always um, advised me so for not trying to be perfect, but instead you just need to try your best in your life. Wow. Yes. wow. A very good point from her. That she's admiring uh, her, mother. her mother. Okay. That's a very supportive yeah, mother. Yeah, yes. based on what you shared with me as well, I admire your mother. <laughs> based on what, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, so can we listen to... Uh, I think we can listen to one more. One more, okay. Sure. Um, Who would like to try next? Okay, oh. Suren. Suren oh, already raised uh, his hand. Okay, Suren, let's hear from you. Okay, the person I admire is my father because he'll give the correct advice at the perfect time. That's so sad situation. <laughs> Suren, the question is, do you listen to your father's advice or not? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I listen. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Father. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So basically, hmm, those are good people who we should admire. Yes, yes, yes. Our, parents. our parents, right? Yes. So basically, uh, both uh, of our parents are the ones who are closest to us. So mm. that's why, no wonder, we, some of the traits that they have yeah. uh, is something that we would like to have in ourselves as well. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to today's topic. Okay, um, so this is the question or the topic for today. Mm -hmm. Your teacher has asked you to write a description of a person you admire. Write why you admire him or her and how he or she has influenced you. So this is the question from the textbook. The textbook. Okay. It's quite similar to the requirement for a part two uh, component, which is a guided response. Now, um, students, can you look at this question and tell me what are the keywords for this question? Okay. 
Uh, I think they yeah, are taking a little like bit of time. Maybe who would like to try to share the keywords from the question? How about Putra? Mm -hmm. I think the keyword uh, in this question is uh, uh, write a description of a person you admire. Okay, a that is very good as well. Okay. You understand that one of the titles is to write a description of a person. Mm -hmm. Are there any more yeah. uh, keywords? Okay, thanks Putra for sharing the first keyword, which is description. Um, Fia, how about you? What about the second description? Or second keyword, sorry. Uh, I think the second will be uh, the reason why um, we choose, why we admire him or her. Okay. And the way they influence us. Mm. Thank you, Fia. Yes, she got it right, right, yes. Mr. Cha? She got it right. Why you admire him or her. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how about we, we have one more one, keyword, right? One more one keyword, more I think how so. How about Ahmad? Uh, I think one of one more keyword is how how he or she has influenced you. Mm. Is, is that, that correct? correct? Yes. Yes, <laughs> it's correct. So basically, this is what we call as a guided essay. So the question will give you some guidance, okay, or some ideas that you need to respond to. Okay. Uh, this is why it's called a guided essay. Understood. So the students have to include all the keywords here into their response later. Okay, uh, we'll look at an example. Okay, so this is from the textbook. As well, this is a very good example because uh, the example is uh, always uh, help our uh, students to actually know how they can uh, answer mm. the AC. Okay. Um, can I have a volunteer to read the essay yes. for us? Who would <laughs> like to volunteer? Uh, just raise your hands. Anyone? Um, all right. Oh. Let's go, Suren. Suren mm. is very excited today. Okay, thank you very much, Suren. So let's hear. Oh, it's so small. The person I admire the most is my Uncle Tony. He is a firefighter and he has performed some extremely heroic acts. My uncle is the most courageous person I know. He risks his life every day to save others. He really loves his job and wouldn't change it for anything. Few people are kind and unselfish as he is. In fact, he always offers to help others even when he isn't working. Another quality that really stands out is his great sense of humor. Whenever we are together, it makes me laugh a lot. As for myself, my Uncle Tony has been a huge influence on me. He has shown me how important is it? It is to help others who are in need. I believe it's the reason why I decided to become a doctor. I really like my uncle Tony, and so does everyone in the community. Nobody ever has a bad word to say about him. I hope I can gain that kind of respect from people in the future too. Okay. Thank you, Suren, for that, that, that amazing reading. Yes, uh, I hope uh, the kids at home mm. uh, would really appreciate this uh, example. Okay. Okay, so we can see that why is this a good example? Um, as this writer has included all the requirements of the question. So in the first paragraph, he talked about the description of Uncle Tony, who okay. is a firefighter. And in the second paragraph, he talked about why he admired him, basically because he is a, courage, a most courageous person, um, kind and unselfish, and his great sense of humor. Mm. And lastly, for the third paragraph, he talks about how Uncle Tony influenced the writer. And he also ended with a very short and sweet conclusion. So basically, this is what a guided response should be. Ah. The students should have included all the content points into their essays. Okay, okay, understood. Okay, okay uh, so uh, as mentioned uh, before, uh, in our previous lesson as well, we learned about the three components that we need to do in a writing task, which mm. is in uh, writing, right? Okay. So we have the three parts. We have done already part one previously. Now we focus on the part two. Actually, uh, it's more on 
open AC on a topic, opinion, discursive, or argumentative. Well, here we are talking about giving their opinion about a person. That's why they need to uh, describe about the person. And uh, for part three, maybe we will have another chance to actually talk about this more, okay? Now, uh, just to highlight a little bit to uh, all the students there, uh, part one previously is on a TA2 level. Okay. And our CA for our aligned uh, curriculum. Okay, so we need to achieve a certain level when we want to do a part two essay, which is focusing on a B1 level, which is a higher degree, a little bit. Okay, right. so candidate have to write an essay in about 150 words, but you know, sometimes you uh, write more, mm. so it wouldn't uh, harm you uh, to actually write a little bit more, but you need mm. to restrict as well yourself when you're writing because you know already the amount of words that you need to achieve. So okay. restriction also is a must because Understood. we don't want to waste a lot of a lot of our time like uh, explaining, explaining. Yes. Uh, but uh, in the end, you are not achieving what the question wants. Just now right. we realize there are certain tasks that we need to achieve when yes. we are doing these tasks. Yes. Okay, Chris? that's a very good explanation. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, Mr. Hanin, I do yes. have a question. So for today. We, so earlier you shared about part one, part two, and part three. Uh -huh. So for today, we are focusing on part two, is that correct? Part two, yep. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you remember also, this is uh, the things that, the skills that we need to follow in order for us to achieve. Yes, we know just now what are the things that we need to accomplish mm. in a writing part two. But the thing is, this is the skill that we need to fulfill in order for us to get uh, the mark. Yes, uh, the marks, so that is the what total we want to marks. <laughs> is 20. Okay. So there are four elements that we need to focus on, which are on content, communicative achievement, organization, and language. And later on, when we are doing our discussion, uh, we are going to look at it furthermore, okay? Okay, so uh, these are the skills. We have the content, we have the communicative achievement, organization, and language. Uh, just now, because uh, our focus is uh, a little bit more on the adjective, right? So yes. I want to emphasize on the language part. Use a range of everyday vocabulary, vocational, appropriate use of uh, less common lexis. So we want to encourage them. In order for them to get a better mark, is to include a lot of vocabulary that mm. is going to help them uh, to make uh, the reader to understand. So when the reader understands, so they can increase uh, the mark for communicative, uh, achievement and also get a higher mark in content. Okay. Understood. So now I'll pass back to Mr. Chua to sure. focus more on the word that we mentioned about adjective. Okay. Okay. So we have um, previously in the previous lessons, Mr. Has Mr. Nahani, I talked about cohesive devices. For example, besides, other than that, mm -hmm. all these should be included in your essay to make your essays sound smooth. So aside from that, we will be focusing on adjectives today, uh, as what Ms. Hani has said. Mm. If we use adjectives to describe a person, it shows that we are good in our language. And when we are good in our language, we can get a better mark in our communicative achievement because ah. we can hold the reader's attention. Understood. When they are reading. Understood, Mr. Chua. So actually, Mr. Hanin, yep. for connectors is part one. Am I right? That was for better organization as our previous learning. learning. So first of all, besides yes. that. And today, we are focusing more on adjectives for getting higher marks, so tw overall 20 marks. So, but before we actually proceed with more examples and more strategies on getting yes. these marks, mm. how about we take a quick break? Is that okay, sir? Yeah, sure. Oh, sure. Yes, and for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere because we'll be learning right after this how we can score the most marks we can for our English essay. And I will see you again here on Success SPM Doplo Doplo Satu. Didik TV KPM. TV KPM. Hi everyone, welcome back to Success SPM 2021 with me, Chris MJ. And today we are learning Bahasa English on the topic of describing a person. Now, before the break, Mr. Chua and Mr. Hanin has already explained the best ways to get out of 20 marks, the most we want to get yep. in SPM paper 2 in our English essays. Yes. And 
one of the ways we can actually describe a person is by using adjectives. Yeah. And right now we are just correct me if I'm wrong. We are actually going to learn more and dive into adjectives. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. So. Mm, because we want to describe a person, of okay. course, we have to use adjectives. All right. Okay, so adjectives are words we usually use to describe the quality of a person, animal, or thing. Okay. Um, Chris, yes. um, can you think of an adjective? Yes, usually people will call me short. <laughs> so is short an adjective? Yes, okay. short is an adjective. Okay, so um, other than adjectives, we have a few forms. Okay. Okay, comparative and superlative. Comparative is when we compare uh, two things okay. or two people. Like All for right. example, short. Short. So if it's comparing shorter than. Ah. Okay. For example, um, Chris is Chris, shorter than Chris Mr. Is, Chua. Okay, Chris ah. is shorter. <laughs> okay, Chris is shorter than Mr. Chua. Ah, okay. Okay, and then lastly is superlative. So when we want to use superlative, usually we use it to compare um, more than two things or people. Okay. Okay. So usually we will use the word the. So it has to be the shortest. Oh, the shortest. Mm. Okay, yes. I understand. Okay. Um, maybe we can ask one of our students uh, sure. about their opinion. Sure. Who would like to give an example of an adjective? Um, let's go with uh, uh, Isa. Isa, what about uh, you? Ah, Isa. Yes. Um, large. 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 Okay, can you also tell us what are the comparative form and the superlative form? Larger and largest. Larger okay. and Very nice. largest. Okay, that's okay. good. So larger than and uh, the largest. Largest. Okay. So usually adjectives are not only short, sometimes they are long. Can anyone think of an adjective which is longer? Longer. Okay, mm -hmm. who would like to try? Mm. Yeah, just raise your hands if you'd like to try. Any okay, volunteers? Ahmad. Uh, Ahmad. 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 His hand. Yes, Ahmad. Uh, long, long adjectives like beautiful. Ah, beautiful. Oh. That is a long adjective. Be yes, beautiful, beautiful is okay. a way to describe someone. Yes. Okay. So when the adjective is usually longer, which means you have more syllables, yes. we don't use er anymore. Just now we use shorter. Okay. But now when the words, uh, the, when you have a lot of syllables in your words, it, we use the word more. More beautiful than. Ah, okay. And superlative, the most beautiful. Uh, Understood. For words with more syllables, we will use the word more and most. And okay. We don't use er and ESC. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like uh, a reminder for them. Actually, they know the word, just that we want to highlight mm -hmm. uh, this so that uh, the students out there know the forms of adjective. That's all. Okay, okay? <laughs> understood. Okay, so back to the question. Okay. So write a description of a person you admire. Right, why you admire this person and how he or she has influenced you. So this is the focus of today. Okay. Okay, as usual, um, when we want to write an essay, there are three parts that we need to focus on. Let's see whether our students online remember what are the three parts, parts in an essay. that we need to have in our essay, right? Ms. Yeah, please raise your hands. Who would like to give us three parts in the Fia. Yeah, Fia. Okay, Fia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what are three parts I in an essay? I think uh, the answer is introduction, body and conclusion. Okay, let's is, see. Is she correct? Okay. Introduction, so body and Conclusion. Conclusion. Yeah. Yes, you are right, Fia. That's good. <laughs> okay, I that's mean, like because she remember the the, the previous lesson, maybe <laughs> that uh, also mm. uh, in part one, there must be also have three uh, components in uh, essay. I understand. <laughs> okay, so let's go into each part. So for in the introduction, usually we will give some general information about the person first because okay. our topic is the person we admire. So mm -hmm. just give a bit of information. And followed by the body, the body paragraph. Okay, so we will include all the key points. Just now we talk about why we admire that person, and we can talk about how he or she has influenced us in our body paragraph. And lastly, for the conclusion, we can give some general comments about the person we admire. Okay, that's right. Oh, okay. So if you are watching at home. 
take out your pen and paper and let's try to write, to write. a mm. short paragraph on describing yeah or describing back to the, question. A person, yeah. the person that you, you admire, admire. Yeah. Okay. of course it will be easier for them because when we talk about the person that we like or we admire they have a lot of points i think this uh, question is really helpful for students okay. yes uh, okay, so while waiting for... Yeah. Oh, so let's give our them. friends on, online about. some time to start writing <laughs> their, their short paragraph on why they, who they admire and why they admire this person. And yeah, so while we give them some time, maybe we can discuss. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So just now, Chris, you talk about the person you admire, who is your father. Yes. Okay, so can you briefly describe your father? Okay, so... Uh, my father is someone who has a great sense of humor, so he's funny. Mm -hmm. And mm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very inspired by how he makes everyone laugh um, around him. Mm. But what about you, Mr. Chua? Who do you admire? Oh, usually, um, the person who I admire the most would be my mother. Why? Mm. Why, why do you admire her? Because although my mother is not highly educated, okay. but she sure knows how to be a good mother. Wow, <laughs> okay. So okay. she's a good mother to you, Mr. Chua. What about you, Mr. Hanin? Who uh, do you admire? My late dad. Okay. Uh, it's been like three years already since he passed. But I learned a lot from him. Uh, the quality that I love about him is determination. When you really put an effort into the things that you love, mm. then that is something that I really admire about him because he really focuses on that. So that is a very good quality that I, I think that I'm going to continue. Wow. <laughs> determination. Yes, so that determination. Is how your late father has influenced you. Yes. Is that correct, Mr. Hanin? Well, based on what I heard today, it sounds like everybody admires their parents the most, correct? Like yep. I was our friends online and also me and <laughs> the teachers today. But okay. you know, sometimes, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for us human to admire uh, other yeah. people also is uh, to your preference, right? Mm. So yes, yes. we just like uh, be positive okay. and to the person that we like, okay? All right, looks like our friends online are ready as well with their answers, with their writing. So, are you ready? If you're, if you're ready, if you're good, give me a thumbs up. And it's time to see if you are able to get 20 marks. <laughs> uh, okay, let's find okay. out. <laughs> let's find out a little bit more. Okay, uh, so they already sent their answers and then okay. uh, I randomly put their names. So, not sure who's going to start first. Okay, so, sure. we let the slides to choose who is the person. Okay. okay, so this is the question. So, the first person is... Nusrat. Okay, Nusrat. Okay. Uh, Putra, you want to read? You want to read your answer? Ah, uh, alright. Okay. The person I admire the most would be Asfahiri. Personally, he is the best influencer I've ever known. Aspa is a young and great entrepreneur. He owns an aromatherapy candles business called Nyala. Despite his popularity, he remains humble towards his family and friends and always takes good care of them. Asfa never stops showing positivity and love on his social media. For instance, he gives his sister an iPhone 12 for her outstanding achievement in SPM. Asfa Heri is commonly known for his great sense of humor and his laugh is contagious. Whenever I feel at the bottom, I know where I should go. Moreover, he has a good taste in fashion, which is very trendy and inspire me to become like him. In a nutshell, I really look up to Asfahiri as a youth influencer, as well as a prominent public figure. I hope that I can, I can improve my self-esteem as much as him and meet him in person somewhere in the future. Thank you, Putra. Okay, thank you, uh, Putra, for reading the answer. So, just want to highlight to everybody, Let's see uh, the sample over here uh, by Nusrat. So what are the three components just now we discussed about? When, what do we need in an essay? Introduction. Introduction. Body and conclusion. Body and also? Conclusion. conclusion. Okay. So just now, what mentioned by Mr. Chua, uh, the task that we need to do is, in the first paragraph, you need to tell us a bit about the person that we like, right? Mm. So Nusrat already mentioned, the person I admire the most would be as far. Harry, personally, he is the best influencer I've ever known. Okay, that's a very good introduction already. Mm. Now, 
he mentioned further by describing a little bit more about Asfar, and he included a lot on adjective as well. So let's see um, the adjective that he has. Uh, Asfar is young, and he also great. Mm. Uh, the word um, humble itself, mm. right? Humble. And we go on to the next. Outstanding. Outstanding achievement. So this one is all a play explanation. Okay. And the use of adjective really help to describe about what he did, uh, his effort. So, so it helps in, in increasing the mark. Mm. Uh, the next paragraph, Asfahar is commonly known for his great sense of humor, further explaining about the quality that Asfahar Harry uh, has. Uh, whenever I feel at the bottom, I know where I should go. Now, telling more to us uh, what uh, the influence mm. that he got from uh, his uh, idol, okay. yeah, as far as Harry. Okay, this is very good as well and a very good conclusion. In a nutshell, I really look up to as far as Harry as a youth influencer as well as a prominent public figure. I hope that I can improve my self esteem as much as him and meet him in a person somewhere in the future. Wow. I'm just reading it because the conclusion mm. is short and nice. Yes. yes, it's not really like too lengthy, it's just nice. Uh, congratulations, uh, Nusrat, for doing this job as uh, yeah. what we did. So, uh, what I usually do, I, okay. uh, I include the C, the C, A, the O, and also the L, right? Okay, so, the maximum mark for total? Total 20. Total 20, right? So, let's see the content. Mm. He included a lot of information about the content. So, five. Okay. Okay. Now we talk about cumulative achievement. Mm. You, as a reader, do you feel that uh, Nusra has told you uh, a lot of information of, about Asfar Ferry? Yes. 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 You agree five. on that? Yes. Five. How about the organization? You see, the paragraphing is quite nice, and also he included a lot of um, connectors as yes. well here to make the writing smooth. So five over here, and language is. Very good. Yes. Control as well. Five. So. Yay! Putra, you just got 20 marks. Congratulations. Congrats. Okay. So uh, let's go on to the next one. Can we have Isa, please? Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah, Isa, you want to read your answer? The person I admire the most is my mother. Okay. This is because she is someone who understands me and knows what is best for me. There is no reason for me to live without my mother. No one can beat my mother when I think of her. She is incomparable. Yes. Whenever I am sick, she stays up all night to look after me. She sacrifices her own needs for my requirements and she will never ask anything in return. She will never make any grants instead. She remains patient with our attitude. She continuously pushes me to excel because she dreams of me being the top student. Okay. Whenever I feel like giving up or have a concern, I will always ask her for advice. Yes. From her, I have also learned that we have to put others' needs ahead of our own, mm -hmm. but never let them take advantage of us. She seems to be strong even during hard times because she is extremely determined to accomplish anything to make us happy. Okay. I will make sure my mother get the best treatment when I finish my study and start working. I will try my best to make her as an example in all aspects of my life. I will always appreciate my mother because I know I will never get another. Oh, wow, very, thank you, Isa. Yes. That is a very beautiful answer, by the way. Yes, okay. Uh, yes, we need to look at the paragraphing. Yes, the, uh, it has like a very good introduction. The body is planning about her mother and also a little bit of conclusion. So we look at our C, C, A, O and L, right? So the content just now, I feel mm. like when you're reading, you feel like a lot of content she mentioned about uh, her mother, right? Yes. So she included a lot, so we can give five. Uh, yes, as a reader, you feel like, oh, you feel touched about her stories as well, about her mother, right? Yes. Yeah, so mm. you can give five as well for mm. this, for community achievement. Um, about the organization, uh, uh, I think she can uh, include a little bit more on the cohesive devices. Co devices just to make the flow of fiber more okay. interesting. So uh, she fell uh, a little bit uh, down. She, if she can include that, uh, she can get higher. Okay. So 
three over here. Okay. And uh, the language. She uses quite a lot of adjectives as well. Yes, she uses a lot of adjectives as well. Um, okay, she got a four. Okay, so five, five, ten, thirteen, four, three, three four. So. Total is 17. So 17 over 20. Congrats, still a Isa. High mark. Okay, congratulations, Isa. Yes. So, so what we just did earlier was more on. We just saw our friends' answers on mm -hmm. the question, which yep. is writing mm -hmm. about and describing the person you admire and why you admire the person. So I'm excited to hear and read from my other friends' answers as well. But before that, could we take a short break, sirs? Yes. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so earlier we saw Putra's answer. He scored at 20 over 20. Amazing job. And Isa as well. Great job, by the way, with your answer. Now, for those of you who want to hear our other friends' answers for today, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Success SPM 2021. D -Day TV KPM. D -Day TV. KPM. Hi everyone, welcome back to Success SPM 2021. You are watching with me, Chris MJ, and I'm here with Mr. Hanin and Mr. Chua. And today, we are learning Bahasa Inggris on the topic of describing a person, especially for our English essays. Now, before the break, we learned on the main components of an English mm -hmm. essay, so introduction, body, and conclusion. And we also had some time to write a short essay regarding who we admire and why we admire them. So we heard answers from Putra, and we also saw Iza's beautiful answer as well. And next, who do we have, sir? Okay, on the slide, we have Ahmad, so, uh, so we let Ahmad to read his answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, the person I admire the most is my friend Daniel. We have been good friends for three years, and since then, since then he taught me a lot about how to be a good person to everyone else. We often share our opinions and discuss about the interests that we share, and more often than not, the discussions turn to arguments, but both of us enjoy a great argument and the greatest debate that often wins. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, we do have contrasting interests and different sets of knowledge. He has more social skills and knows a lot of news and about the community community more than I do, while I often know more about academics than he does, and we often exchange that knowledge. Based uh -huh. on the events described, he has been a great influence on me, as our friendship has indirectly taught me on how to be tolerant in a conversation, respect as one of the main elements in a relationship, the necessity of being an open-minded, of being open-minded in a discussion, and how to be a good listener and he could be one of the main reasons how I changed from being pessimistic and narrow-minded person to a better person I am now. I really like being friends with him and so does our community. Everyone feels comfortable around him and I feel very lucky to have him as a friend. I hope I can be this type of friend to someone too in the future. Wow, Ahmad, that is such a beautiful answer. Daniel, I hope you're watching this. <laughs> that is such a, a great answer. Thank you, Ahmad. A dedication, friend, yeah? a dedication to his yes. friends. Okay. Mm. So, uh, as we look through, we need to look at the three components. So uh, the introduction is here, and then the body, and also the conclusion is here. So we are going to look at the C, C, A, O, and L. So, okay. um, so the first C is uh, content. content. So okay. uh, as uh, when we heard, we know that he really loves his friend. So I think uh, he deserves a five. Oh, nice. As well, I think for communicative achievement as a reader as well, as I go through again. Okay. Yes, uh, reading this. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, commendable. So he can get also a five. Um, however, for organization, uh, a little bit of like uh, a very long sentences. Yeah. He could he could actually break the sentences. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ahmad, I would uh, suggest that and also try to include more uh, cohesive devices. devices. Seemingly. Uh, I can mention. I, I can only notice this one. On the contrary, Mr. Chua, do you find any other more? Um, Not really. Where? While I often. While. So yes, uh, I would uh, really suggest. I, I see one. Uh, yes. I think based on the events described, is the that an example of cohesive? Uh, is that an? 
uh, based on the events described. Based on the events. Is that when a connector? Describe, uh, it's not really like okay. uh, the real connectors uh, that uh, they need to include. I see. Uh, they already know the coisy device and connectors that they need oh, to include okay. actually. Understood. So maybe they are miswriting it a little bit. I understand. It's okay. Uh, it's always a suggestion for them to improve, yes. right? Mm. To put more so that they can uh, get a better mark. So actually, uh, a little bit like uh, download a little bit here because uh, failing a little bit. But the content is already high. Yeah. So that is what good about uh, this. Mm. Yeah. It let you know which part or which area mm. that you need to focus on. Okay. And also the language is quite okay. So ten, still. 17. 70. Very good. Mm. Congratulations, okay. Ahmad. Congratulations. And we are going to go to the last person. OK. Uh, Fia. Fia, uh, do read your answer. The person that I admire the most in my life is my mother. She is working as clerk at school near my house, and she is the closest one in my family member. Okay. My mother is the most supportive person I know. She always be my biggest fan every time I enter a competition and always asks me to reach for the star. Her sense of humor is not a quality that really stands out her likable personality. Okay. That's why people around her always having a great time with her include for myself. As for myself, I would say that my mother has been a huge influence on me. She showed me that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. I believe she's the reason why I decided to become a minister. Mm -hmm. I really like my mother and so does everyone around her. There's, they always praise my mother and I never heard people say bad word to her. Yes. In future, I hope I can help more people in need and inspire other people too. Okay, that is also a very good uh, Thank you for your answer. Yeah, answer from Fia. So we see the okay. three main components as usual. Okay. Yeah, the introduction, the body, body, and also a little bit of the conclusion, right? We are looking at the C, C A, O, and L, right? So, yeah, that is very good because you mentioned uh, about your mother. However, I feel that um, lacking a little bit on the content, okay. she can add more just to increase a little bit more of the information that we want to know about uh, her mother. Just now when we look at other samples, uh, uh, for sure that we can also learn from our friend how uh, he, just now, uh, we can take example Ahmad and also Nusrat. Uh, mm. The way they mention about uh, the person they admire, they include a little bit more uh, mm. information. So I think you can add more. Okay, thank okay. you, Fia, for to um, to improve. And then so uh, uh, for for content, uh, so uh, it would highlight also uh, yeah uh, a little bit uh, down mark mm. for a cognitive achievement because uh, lack of content for an organization. I think I also want to encourage uh, the kids to actually use. Uh, I can only see, in fact, uh, as for myself, uh, not many, okay? okay. Please, please try to include more, yeah? So three, and also the language, not really uh, like a very big mistake on, on the error. So four, for a 12, 12 plus three is 15, okay? Mm. All right, so generally uh, all your students were, were amazing, giving great marks as well. So. Out of 20, we still can see that. Yes. They, they, and, mm. and what I love about what Mr. Hanin and Mr. Chua shared was you gave a lot of feedback on how we can improve. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, it looks like we have come to the end of today's class. But before that, maybe Mr. Hanin and Mr. Chua would like to share um, some conclusion or summary of what we learned today. Okay. So, remember the students uh, at home uh, about this uh, six item. First, read and understand the task carefully. Yeah. Just okay. now, Mr. Chua, in the beginning of the lesson, he mentioned about the task that we need to do. So you need to identify that. And then you need to brainstorm the ideas. Just now we have a discussion a about discussion. Yes, the person that we admire and whatnot. We need to plan your writing. What's good about this textbook, it prepares you on the plans that you need to do. And then give example to support your point. Include connectors. This is a very good uh, what mm. uh, things for us it, to remember, yeah. right, Mr. Chua? Yeah. Yes. And also, lastly, chat your writing for errors. And Mr. Choi, anything you want to add? Usually the, the errors that students will make are like tenses, mm -hmm. lack of articles, um, let's say the subject verb agreement, they mm. should know these are the S, more than S. Uh, these are the things. They need to check the essay all uh, right. before they submit it. Okay, okay, understood. So six steps for all my friends at home to score the best marks for your English essay. Thank you so much, Mr. Choi and Mr. Yeah, Hanin, for you, these Chris. strategies and yeah. tips.
and how are my friends on Google Meets doing? Like, did you learn something today? If you did, give me a thumbs up. Yes, amazing. I Thank just want to say guys. good job to all of you as well for your amazing essays. And with that, I would like to say we have come to the end of today's class. Thank you so much once again to our teachers and my classmates online. Thank you, online. Chris. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you again in future episodes here at Success SPM 2021. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you. <laughs>